So when it comes to video editing, a lot of us think of Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Apple Final Cut Pro, but what about the OG video editor and the one that I actually got started on, Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna take a look at today. I am gonna be using Windows Movie Maker in Windows XP and well, it's been a while since I've used this program and Honestly, I don't know how things are going to turn out, uh, but I was able to convert some of these videos to actually work in Windows XP. So I kind of thought it would have problems with playing MP4 files. And I did have problems playing MP4 files, obviously, because this standard didn't exist uh, whenever Windows Movie Maker was around. But if you convert it to a Windows Media video file, then it works. And so that's kind of what I did here. So this is not going to be anything really, uh, I would say, complex. It's going to be super, super simple. And I'm just basically going to see how things look like in our modern age using Windows Movie Maker and then also using more, I guess, modern <laughs> types of videos. And let's see how this goes. OK, so the first thing I need to do is actually drop my clips into this collections. And I'll be honest with you, it's been like many, many years since I've used Windows Movie Maker. So I don't actually remember how everything works, but I'm going to go ahead and drag some of these files, which were previously MP4, and I've converted them over to Windows Media Video Files. Okay, so that one's okay. And let's go ahead and drag these here. And I'm also going to drag okay that's okay that's weird okay so once you drag it in it actually drags it in one by one oh that's kind of odd okay well yeah maybe that's how it worked in the past because i really don't remember and um let me see i'm gonna also drag in a picture as well or an image see if i can find an image here as well right here all right, so it's kind of weird that uh, whenever you drag a video in, it puts it into its own collection. And then uh, whenever you drag an image in, you could have it along with your video. So kind of odd. Well, let's go ahead and drop this. I'm going to drop it down here under the video timeline. And can I move it? No. Can I edit? Okay, okay, I could do that. So this is a linear video editor, it, as I remember, which means that it kind of goes uh, step by step. You know, with uh, with modern non-linear video editors, you can just move this around in different sequences. So that's what I recall. Um, let me see if I can I drag this over. No, that's dragging to trim it. Okay, but in terms of like dragging it to a different part of the timeline. I'm not able to get it. Let me expand this. Okay, cool. So if you expand it, you can actually see the audio as well. And if I play this, yeah, it works. And let me see if there is a waveform. Um, I don't remember if there is a waveform for the audio. Well, there's a bit rate, but I don't see any type of waveform. So yeah so there's the audio and let me drop in an image as well so can i do that okay it did but okay great at least i could move it back and forth okay that's great um can i add another video track let me see so <laughs> This is almost like using this for the very first time. Let me see. What is project storyboard? Okay, you can have in the storyboard feature, which is, I guess, the easy mode. Okay, the easy version of it. Uh, most of us are used to a timeline view. Um, I was trying to see if I could add another video track, but <laughs> I think like you could only have one video track at a time. You set audio levels, you can narrate your timeline, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Rewind, play. Okay, great. So I got that. So let me add a, another video. Okay, there is some waveforms there. You can kind of see that. 
Yeah, but it's kind of messed up. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's, it's fine. It's Windows Movie Maker. I got my image here from Flickr. Still works. Great. <laughs> um, and then there's also um, transitions you can add as well. Uh, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Let me add some other things. I'm going to add... Can I move this? I can't move it. I was going to add a title here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back here. All right. So let's add a title right here. Where is the title? Oh man, this is, I can't believe this used to be so easy back then. I, obviously I could save this, uh, but let me go ahead and save this project. So uh, yeah, so there's, let's save this. Uh, uh, Windows Movie Maker, W Maker, test. All right, so I'm gonna save that. All right, so how do I add a uh, title? Uh, let me see. Import video, import pictures. Make titles or credits. There it is. Okay, and add. See, and there's some places you could add. You could add at the beginning, before select a clip. Title on the selected clip, title after the selected clip, and then credits at the end. I'm going to add it on top of the selected clip. So I want it on the top of the image. So it shows the Windows background there, but I'm pretty sure it's going to overlay it. So add done adding title movie clips. Okay, so if I move this here, so it put it wherever I had the playhead, which is nice. So if I play this, uh, let me see if I can just play it. Oh, there's the title. Cool. And the title, I don't remember. Okay, I don't know if there's some special effects. Oh, yeah, you could change the title animation. You could change the font and color. Yeah, very, very advanced. So there's fade in for that. Let's go ahead and fly in, fly out. Uh, that was pretty popular back in the day. Um, see that? I'll probably change the text, make it bigger. That work? Okay, cool. It did work. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, make it even bigger. I'm gonna make it obnoxiously big. So, what what can we use? What is a good? Yeah, let's do Comic Sans. <laughs> yes, I used to love Comic Sans, and let's make it bright red. Yeah, that looks good. There's transparency as well. Uh, we'll make it bigger. I think that's the biggest I could do it. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Because <laughs> even back then, you wanna save often. So let's go ahead and play this. Yeah, fly in and fly out. Great. And then there's my video. So let's go ahead and add, let's add a uh, transition here. Um, let me see. So here's video transitions and wow, there are, there's more than what I thought. Bow tie, checkerboard. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. Wow. I don't remember them being so many. Uh, let's go ahead and just use a simple dissolve. We might get a little bit fancy, uh, further on in the video. So, okay, great. So now what happens? So if I play this. Okay, I don't see the transition. So can I just drag it? Okay, there it is. Yeah, you can drag it. Okay, great. So then you could go back to, no, there's tasks, there's collections. Okay. So there's different views on here. Um, okay, so show, no, show storyboard. No, show timeline. Storyboard does help as well, uh, but I want to get out of the video transitions oh no no that's not right import video no nope. how do i go back show collections okay there it is man this takes a little getting used to so save this okay let's go ahead and press play oh yeah there it is a dissolve effect so i'm gonna trim this down a little bit more and i'm gonna go ahead and add another video maybe there's better ways to do this i don't I don't remember. Nope, there's nothing there. Okay, 
cool there's even some stock stuff as well but i don't want to use some of these sounds they might be copyrighted as funny as that sounds so uh let me see play this all right and we'll add another transition right here kind of getting the feel of uh how this used to be now you know maybe if i spent enough time I, I could do this yeah let's let's do a pinwheel that's right we're getting ultra fancy so there's new video effects as well oh wow okay yeah we, we might try that we might try that there's <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and press play let's see how that looks yes it works and we're gonna add one more video clip and i'm also gonna maybe add another image i'm not sure and um this is just for fun so you know i'm making mistakes you know it's kind of slow you know because i don't remember how to use things so this is just fun and a lot of nostalgia for me and so if you've any of you actually use you know windows movie maker then you probably remember all of this you know i, I remember it it was great uh and as i stated a little bit earlier this is what got me started in video editing this is the very first video editor that i use uh let's go ahead and add one more video transition so what do we want to do here uh we'll go ahead and shatter yeah that's going to be cool and obviously vertical videos really wasn't a thing back then as they are now so go ahead and play this so let's see what happens wow that you know what if you were video editing back in the day especially if you were a kid that had to blow your mind that blew my mind i was like terminator 2 effects right there <laughs> okay so then we're gonna do one more i'm just gonna add an image and then maybe i'll add an end title as well so this is definitely not <laughs> professional uh but it is still pretty fun so we'll add a sunset and can i drag it here so we'll add a sunset all right and then we'll add a final one here as well uh, a final title or something we'll move it at the end so no we'll leave it leave it right here on the selected clip at the playhead and what i'm also going to do is um i'm probably going to add some video effects so exploding outline i don't know what that is Ooh, that's cool all right and then i'm going to change the font let's change it to let me see what's a good font <laughs> that everybody used back then besides this comic sans well ariel did that Let's do a courier new. Ah, oh, no, that's horrible. <laughs> uh, all right. Microsoft Sans Serif. Okay, we'll do that. Why not? Make it bold. Okay, we'll change the color. Spice things up a little bit. Is that is that a good color? Oh, it's hard to see. Let's make this make this green. Okay. Uh, did that work? Okay, that's too transparent. <laughs> all right, so that's the largest the font can go and we'll go ahead and say done okay and let's go ahead and watch this from here and then where's the title oh wait it's all the way over here it's a little too far let me move this over here okay and then we'll play it again okay yeah it's all right <laughs> that's not the best in the world uh but let's make this a little bit more exciting with some of these effects speed up double up okay what is this slow down half down i have no idea which one is good so i i don't know we'll just do a film grain and i don't know can i add that on image maybe oh yeah there is film grain but it's kind of hard to tell can i take out a film grain oh, okay let's let's do a let's do ease in okay or pixelate Okay, yeah, pixelate. All right, so let's see how that looks. Okay, I, I combined like two different effects. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save this. 
Okay, we now have our completed project. Um, let's start from the beginning. Let's play this. I'm going to move this a little bit larger. So, all right. I should have done that at the beginning. But anyways, let's watch this. Okay, there it is. Okay. Wait, can I make this full screen? Uh, okay, large. Nope. Let me see. Can I make this full screen? There it is. Okay, so oh, let's start from the beginning and we'll make this a uh, full screen. Let's watch this masterpiece. Great. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm going to skip ahead. Because <laughs> this is an absolute disaster in the making. Where's the transition? Where's my transition? Uh, it's too much for Windows XP to handle too much okay let's get minimize that okay all right let's try that again let's go back here maybe, maybe it's just way too much for windows xp to handle oh man i just can't see that it doesn't even show this video at all does it show it nope I think it's because uh, it's a little too much for uh, Windows XP to handle. <laughs> All right. Even though the hardware that I have is way more powerful. Okay, that's it. I. <laughs> it's been so long since I've used Windows XP. Um, and as you can see, I was really fumbling around and not everything worked perfectly. Uh, but for the simple fact that I'm still able to edit in this with quote unquote modern files with some transitions with some effects titles and stuff it's really really awesome good times a lot of nostalgia there and it kind of shows you how far we've come you know with technology there it is so it just took a while for windows xp to uh see that let me see let me see if this works now but just play this okay great <laughs> it must have been the transition Okay, and then we'll watch this one right here. So obviously, I'm not going to watch the whole video. Yeah, it just takes a while for Windows XP to process this because obviously there was a lot of stuff going on in this Hollywood production. So <laughs> that's it for this video down memory lane with Windows Movie Maker in Windows XP. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any memories that you had in using Windows Movie Maker, be sure to leave it in the comments area below and I'll see you on another episode. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.